We literally f learn the rules, the federal guidelines, and the state code, and force the school to train three people to protect our daughter. That all changed this summer with this new sudden revision to the diastat plan, as well as the nurse's code, as mentioned in the letter from Ann Boynton, director of registered nurses for the state of California. Our daughter was a totally healthy, happy child until uh, October 04. She was about two and a half months old and began having uncontrolled seizures. Two and a half years old, sorry. Um, 10, 12, 14 minute seizures. She was diagnosed having tuberous sclerosis. It's a disease the body grows tubers in the heart, eyes, lungs, liver, and brain. She still has uh, probably now about 20 to 30 seizures a month. The second day of school, Wednesday, September 9th, the uh, principal called us. Gianna had had what we were told was a 72nd seizure, was turning blue and foaming at the mouth. Paramedics were there. I, I, I was furious. Um, my daughter is in the school with no protection. I demanded and I got a copy of the paramedics report from the Orange County Fire Authority, which showed that it was five minutes and 21 seconds from the time the alarm came in to 911 dispatch to the time the paramedics arrived at school. What child, what adult, could hold their breath for five minutes and 21 seconds? This is what the nurses union is trying to force upon all children with diastat orders in the state of California. The Department of Education is even now backing that up, according to an email from the Disability Rights of California, stating that the nurses are not authorized or registered to delegate non-licensed persons nursing tasks requiring substantial knowledge and skill. The state of California, the student ratio to nurses is 2,500 students per nurse. Our school district has 57 schools and only nine nurses. I even said, I don't care who does it, call the janitor to save my daughter's life. But here's the medicine. They refused. The nurse later called and said, again, there's no nurse available. And the nurses' union does not like the liability of training lay people to administer drugs. The training for our diastat took maybe 45 seconds at the pharmacy window take off the tip, put gel on it, insert it in her rectum, and squeeze in the pre-measured dose of this medicine that was designed for lay people, parents, teachers, and caregivers. And then monitor her breathing for the next 15 minutes because it might cause shallow breathing. Well, in our opinion, shallow breathing is better than not breathing for five minutes. We cannot rely on 911 to save a child's life. It's too long. How long can anybody hold their breath? Not five minutes.